New at five tonight, a survey by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that a number of high school students in Arkansas have driven while drinking or been bullied on school property. It also shows Arkansas holds the top spot for students who have ever been forced to have sex or seriously considered suicide. KWA's Kelly O'Neill sat down with one sexual assault survivor who says these numbers need to change. No, I'm not surprised that it's that high. Jillian Gullah is not afraid to speak up. She says more support is needed for high school students. I know that Arkansas does not have like any sort of comprehensive sex ed. And so I think that that plays like a huge part of it because kids don't really grow up talking about their sexualities. Jillian was 19 when she was raped. She contemplated suicide afterwards and says her family support base helped her through. Mental health and sexual assault both carry these like really intense stigmas and people just kind of get branded. The the survey found that 19.2% of Arkansas students had been physically forced to have sexual intercourse at some point in their life. Now, this was the highest rate among the 34 states in the survey. Genesis Richardson, who advocates for sexual assault prevention, says rape occurs more frequently than people think. So encouraging people to speak up, speak about it. The whole Me Too movement, like, that's so powerful and empowerment for women. Jillian says she thinks high school counselors should play a bigger role for students to help these numbers go down. I think that like this generation too, students are becoming more involved and they're caring more and more about each other and issues like this. And so I think that it just kind of takes like one person within a school community to really speak out and like make a resource known to all students. In Northwest Arkansas, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Kelly, thank you for that report.